Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to a brand new little series. We're going to have a look at 112 Operator. So 112 Operator is effectively a dispatcher simulation, emergency dis dispatcher simulation. Um, it's developed by Jutsu Games and it's published by Games Operators. And I would just like to give a shout out to Games Operators for uh, giving us a, a copy of this to play and have a look at. Okay, so let's get straight into it. We're going to go into the campaign. I've, I did play a little bit in free free game mode just to have a look at it. And this is a game, uh, the, 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 the predecessor for this game, 911 Operator, um, is something we played a long time ago, just a kind of uh, when, the, when the channel was still in its, in its infancy. Well, it's still in its infancy, but way back at the beginning. So let's do the, the campaign mode. Um, I'm going to go with Berlin, just because I know a couple of you guys uh, are from that part of the world. So let's uh, play with Berlin. Okay, so Berlin is the capital and largest city in Germany by both area and population. It's located in the northeastern part of Germany on the banks of the River Spree. Due to its cultural diversity, it's one of the liveliest cities with a famously intense nightlife. The population of each district is mixed, i.e. the infamous Bahnhof Zoo can be found very near to the city's central business center. The city was divided by the Berlin Wall from 1961 and to 1989. Berlin is a relatively safe city, however one should really watch their bikes, drug overdoses and drug related issues are quite common, partially due to Berlin's very intense nightlife. In the beginning, you will be assigned to three districts, Rosenthal, uh, I'm not going to be able to say all of these, Niederschonshausen and Wilhelmsruhe. Um, these districts are located in the west part of Pankow administration. Okay, so as you can see, Berlin is huge. And we will only be starting with these little few districts over here. So let's uh, get going and see what, what's uh, in store for us. Oh, okay, difficulty. I am... Um Okay, easy. If you are not familiar with 911 Operator Fuel Incidents, Weaker Criminals, Normal, Recommended if you know 911 Operator Fail Incidents Penalty times 2, Hard, plus 20% more incidents and fights, Failed Incidents Penalty times 3, um, and then Expert, No In-Game Pause, Auto Saves Only, um, Penalty for Overtime, plus 40% more incidents and fights, Failed Incidents Penalty times 4. Okay, that's a little extreme for us, um, especially that thing that you can't pause. I'm going to go with hard, so let's go with hard and let's get straight into it. It gives you cool little information about all kinds of real life things situation so that you can have a look at this. So it actually is quite educational um, or not, maybe generates more awareness than anything else. Okay, let's go. go. Ooh, starts with a cutscene. Oh, hi. You came to the right place. Welcome to the Emergency Management Center. This is where all the operators work. Here, you can see the situation in the entire city. And this is where you will sit. You can put your headphones on already. Trouble going to the other 10 Okay, interesting. So that's how it starts. Okay, just kind of throws you right into it, right over there. Okay, so first things first. So what we have is one of three districts that we saw. Okay, and now we've got some units that we can assign to a various emergencies. Um, we've got two fire trucks over here, and they're different kinds. So we'll see a little bit later what the differences are. Um, then we've got patrol cars for police and a van, a police van, and we've got two ambulances over here. Once again, they're slightly different. You can see from these little squares up top um, their capacity to hold um, patients or criminals. Um, over here with the fire trucks, you can see how much water each of these have. Okay, so let's see our first incident over here. Uh, fire alarm. A fire alarm was activated. Firefighter intervention is needed. Technical job. Urgent incident requires immediate um, reaction. Okay, so there's a fire alarm that we need to rush out to. It's a technical job as opposed to an actual fire. So I'd rather send the one with less water over there. Also, I want to try and keep an eye on what kind of roads, where we have them all and so on. So let's get that one going down straight away. We'll accept this. So uh, we've got a vehicle assigned. We'll speed things up a little bit so that we can see how it goes. Fire truck is on the way to the fire alarm and we'll see how that goes. It gets quite intense a little bit later, <laughs> obviously starting us out early. Um, easy. Okay, now we'll pause. The, uh, I like to pause the game in between and just have a quick look. Red light offense. A driver was reported running a red light. Police intervention uh, is needed. One suspect. Chase suspects. Um, oh, chase. Suspects are trying to run away. Okay, so this one 
uh, th these cars are faster than that one. So what I'll do is I'll get the car to actually go and pursue pursue that. You can see they kind of move immediately. We've resolved the case over here, so that's great. Oh, another thing that's that's quite cool in this game is once they actually get to the person, you can see the police coming and to try and kind of lock them up over there. So you can actually have a little bit of a visual representation of each of the uh, incidents. Okay, nice. So that person person wasn't even arrested. It was just a fine. Uh, what's over there? Parking violation. So some things are more important than other things, and you will have to prioritize a little bit later. Oh, something over here. A bribery attempt. Um, suspects uh, to arrest on site need a unit with handcuffs and a free place in the vehicle. Okay, we'll send them out over there. Over here, we've now got an unconscious person. So let's send something over there. Okay, now we've got a call coming in. Okay, what's the address? So immediately we'll know where that is. Okay, how many people? Okay. Um, have you? There an emergency button in the elevator. Okay, so they can't do that. Um, I'll send the firefighters. I'm sending the firefighters to help you. Please stay calm. Again, again, what I'm doing is I'm. Possible. Goodbye. I'm sending the technical team. Oh, and here we now need to say what we're dispatching. So we're dispatching the fire department. I'm sending the technical team over there um, instead of the fire engine, just so that we can rather use that if there's a big fire that we need to deal with. Okay, over here, what do we have? A heart attack. Okay, so we immediately need to send an ambulance over here. We've arrested someone, so that's going that way. I'm um, going back to the station with the person that's been arrested. Um, a person suffers from a heart attack. Okay, let's pause the game for a second. Um, suffers from a heart attack. Immediate medical detention is uh, needed. Every injured casualty on site needed doctor assistance. So that's why we send this. And these things become important a little bit later because you have um, more, kind of say, Tougher units to deal with it later. We'll see that. Okay, so here, over here, what is that? Trapped in another elevator. Now we, this is, this isn't a, this isn't a very important thing, right? I would rather keep this guy free should a fire or a car accident or something happen. So what I'll do is I'll just hold shift and we'll right click on that one. So once it's finished, this, the people stuck in the elevator over here, it'll go to that one and resolve that. It's not a very urgent thing, but you do need to kind of bear in mind that these things do time out. Okay, now let's uh, continue picking up these people. Oh, now they need a medic. Okay, so after after that, we'll go over there and pick up the people over there. Um, this is probably going to slow things down a little bit. So I might decide to actually send this guy over there so that doesn't time out. Now, over here, we've got some a family abuse situation. Um, which will need um, both medical um, intervention as well as the police. So what we'll do is I'll send this police car over there. And as soon as this guy's dropped off his patient, he can go over there as well to go and pick up, uh, help the people. So immediately they then move into that direction. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see this. So they're going and arresting this person, the attacker. The ambulance is on the way to come and help. Okay, excellent. So medical transport has been done. Okay, so luckily I've done I've done this a little bit. So oh my goodness. So let's move that over there. What is that? Down power lines? I will accept that. What's going on? One, two. What's your emergency? Hello. My friend drive drunk. Okay. Why? He said he's a driver, so he's definitely sober. I'll I'll move these things over there. Um, he drank too much. He did. He needs to lean onto a wall to keep his balance. Wow. Okay. So, buy these keys. He's holding on to them. He won't let me take them. Okay. Well, um, distract him. Distract him, miss. How? He's not listening. No. This is not really an emergency. Um, where are you? Uh, call him a taxi. Call him a taxi. A taxi? I haven't thought of that. I'll try. Thank you. 
Okay, so not an emergency. We're just going to ignore that one. Okay, now over here we've got a bicycle thief and a bicycle owner. Let's um, let's go and uh, let's go one vehicle over there to the owner and one vehicle over there once you've dropped off your people to chase that guy. Police intervention, one suspect. Um, okay, so we need to. It's basically taking a statement and catching the the, the criminal over here. So we'll get the closer car to go for the criminal. Let's move one of these. Um, Ambulance is more to the middle of the of the zones that we've got to deal with. Uh, let's speed things up a little bit. It always goes to a very slow speed once there's a call going on. Um, I've decided to switch over from the fire engine to the um, to the technical truck to go to the down down power line. So that's been dealt with. Over here we've got a fall from stairs. So let's just send our closest ambulance um, or patient transport to go over here and check that out for us. Excellent. So this, you can see the the time left um, on our current um, on our current uh, duty. It's called a duty. This excellent. That's resolved over here. What incident is this? A childbirth. Um, let's get the um, get the ambulance to go over there asap. Um, if you're in a bind, I've also found that you can send other units. They will try and help as much as they can. A tree fell on a car. We'll send the technical one over there. Okay, we'll accept that. Firefighter intervention required. Okay, so as you can see, they're only taking them, they only have a hospital over here somewhere. Case resolved. Okay. Hang on, what's this? What's your emergency? Hi, uh, uh, there's a car following me. Um, That's a red light offense over there. Okay, a car following you. What's going on? Where are you? In my own car. I just drove by 1683 Okay, we'll move in that direction. Um, uh, are you are you alone? In the car. Yes, I'm alone. Okay, are you on speaker? What's the car? Okay, what's the car? It's a black sedan. Um, the thing is, I actually know the driver. Okay, who is it? Who is that? Do you know that person? There was a guy at a party, and he was really clingy, and I couldn't really get rid of him, so that's why I left. He's yeah. following me. Okay, it sounds a little bit ominous. Ominous. Um, um, I'll organize a routine check. To do a routine check. Drive safely. Oh, thank you. Please okay. go as fast as you can. Okay, we'll see what's going on. We'll send the police to go and have a look. Okay, so over here we're catching this guy with his red light offense, uh, and we're sending this car over here to uh, to do the routine check up over there. Person hit by a falling branch. We'll just send an ambulance over there to go and have a look. So let's see what's going on over here. Just kind of checking in with both of those people. Over here we've got the speeding car. Let's uh, send this guy back over there to, to get the speeder. Okay, so as you can see we're kind of uh, taking statements or suspect, suspect. Okay, and yet an, a sexual harassment case. Let's just pause that for a second and have a look. Um, a victim was touched inappropriately on public transport. Okay, police intervention needed. A few suspects possibly are. Chase suspects are trying to run. Um, urgent incident requires immediate um, action. Okay, what we'll do is we only have the one. Well, we can send that one, but this one will be quicker. We'll send that one over there to come and help. Oh, actually, this one is freeing up earlier. We will we will do that. We will swap over to the closer one that's now available. Excellent. So that should be helpful. Okay, we're doing all of that. What's going on over here? Another red light offense. We'll send this guy down here to go and deal with that. Um, it's simple and straightforward as you start out but it gets more complex with more incidents more um, tougher stuff uh, you know shots fired having to send multiple units to things and so on and so on and you get more districts as you grow on the campaign so there you go our first duty has been done you've got a new fire truck available in shop continue technical truck is available in shop uh, patrol car is available in shop. Okay, interesting things like that. Now we can have the duty summary so we can have a look at all the things that's happened. Uh, we've got a total of uh, 20 incidents, uh, four people in jail, six people billed, hospitalized two, preventable deaths, zero, aided, 10, and reputation, 48. So we get reputation. Unresolved incidents, one. I'll quickly kind of have a look at what that is. Um, it might be the one we've ignored. Um, efficiency is 94%. We have a base income of 80, 18,400 euros. I believe that's, that's right. Feels a little weird. Um, we issued some fines. We had some upkeep and some vehicle maintenance. So that's the, the kind of number that we've got in there. Let's go through the various incidents and we can now open these up to see what, uh, what happened here a little bit further. 
So here we can see we've got one out of one, two out of two, eight out of eight. So let's see where we didn't score uh, properly. Stuck in an elevator, um, we only had two out of four. So why, why was that? A woman called. Um, operator determined the location. The operator de de declarated to send... Wow, that's a little weird. Um, firefighters to the build building. The trap people were rescued. The operator sent unit opening the elevator fixed to resolved. Yes, on site. Received first aid. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't actually find out if there's anything wrong with what I did here. Let's uh, see. Am I, am I missing something here? Let's just move that over. Yeah, so I, I can't see, they're not saying I did something wrong here, but I'm, I'm assuming what's happened is that I didn't ask if they needed medical attention. Um, so you need, when the thing pops up, you need to kind of ask it straight away. And I think that's part of what, what went wrong there. But what didn't went, uh, go wrong that much? It's just a little bit. Okay. Everything else, um, properly, uh, dri driving attempt. Uh, what, what was this? Drunk driving attempt? Party? Uh, let's go. A girl called, incident reported, uh, the incident was ignored. Okay. I don't know if there's something else we could have done over there. Uh, we had one firefighter that's been promoted. Okay. So let's continue. So now we're kind of in the planning view here. So to see what's going on for the next day, we've got 62,000 euros available. Let's see what about our objectives. Uh, first aid, give proper first aid instructions. So we only have one duty. So in our next duty on one of the calls, we have to give proper first aid instructions. And then we're on our probation period. So maintain a positive reputation for two more duties. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. Then here we've got some emails that's come in. Um, let's see. So this one here, operator vacancy application. What is that? We're glad to inform you that we're qualified to the next and last recruitment phase, three days trial period during your, during this time, you'll learn the basics of working in our center. We're going to evaluate your effectiveness depending on the results. We will decide whether to hire you. Okay. So I think that's just some uh, flavor text over there. We'll delete that. Then uh, Jutsu development team is sending us some tips. This message contains tips. Um, if you want to instruct your team to move with emergency lights and sirens, then double click with the right mouse button on any place on the map. Units moving with lights and sirens turn on travel faster, especially when they traverse congested streets. All units automatically turn on their emergency lights and sirens if they are dispatched to incidents. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Right button. First aid instructions. I, everyone should be familiar with first aid, especially the 112 operators. People who are panicked and frightened don't think clearly and will often ask you to explain how to help in an incident. It is important that you know the procedures by heart. This might be a matter of life and death. That's why you can find first aid on your loading screens. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's fine. So that's very basic flavor stuff. So over here, we can see now, we can see all of our units. Here we can see this is a fire truck and that's a technical truck. Um, there's also different kinds of equipment that they can have. We can only have firefighter gear. So all of our people have the same kind of gear. Here we've got a transport ambulance and an ambulance. They travel at the same speed. Um, they've got different levels of support that they can provide. Again, we can change, swap out gear and so on, but I'm assuming that's a little bit later. Now, we've also got these cars. They're at 150 kilometers an hour, and they're only at 120 and 150. But they take less people. They have less capacity, all those kind of things. So you kind of have to plan out what's going on over here, and you can move these, rename them, all those kind of things. What you can also do is you can add predefined units. So I can add um, ready-built units, basically, over here. So a patrol unit, an intervention unit, a rescue ambulance, and a transport ambulance. Okay? Uh, or we can build our own, add a new unit. Well, and we start by adding a car um, and then recruiting some people to come and work for it. I'm not, I think we've got enough people uh, available at the moment. We'll see how the next session goes before we go. What you can also do in between is you can move um, vehicles around a little bit so that, um, so that they're all just a little bit uh, more closer to, to the action. I'll move the van into the center and then we'll move the two patrol cars to the two edges. We'll get the technical truck fairly center 
um, and we'll get one ambulance to this side and one ambulance to that side. It's, it's pretty simple stuff still at the moment. Let's get started on our next duty. Oh, I wanted to add an extra vehicle, but I never got around to doing it. Let's just delete that one. Um, so when I click the add or add a unit, then that happened. Let's start the, the next duty. Okay, what's going on? We've got a cat in a tree. I am absolutely going to ignore that. The cat's owner asked for help with getting its pets down from the tree. We're not going to do that. There might be real emergencies. So you see, it doesn't uh, affect us too badly. Uh, let's uh, speed it to a, a proper speed so we can get through duty fairly quickly. And it's quiet. Oh, I see the uh, socials are popping up. So please follow me on Twitter and, you know, all those good things. Nothing is going on. It's quiet. I should have gone and helped the person with the tree. Okay, over here, damaged fire hydrant. We'll send the technical truck over there straight away. This is maybe not an immediate emergency, but it could be. Epileptic seizure, get the ambulance there immediately. Still a pretty small area, so we deal with it quite quickly and easily. Excellent. Resolved. We've got some reputation over there. Let's move this guy back up to the center. Uh, a loud party over here. Let's grab the intervention unit to go over there. There might be more people available, so we, more units over there is going to be better. Over here, we've got gunshot wound. Let's get the ambulance there straight away. We'll move this guy a little bit closer to that side, just so that if something happens over here, we're close. It's also good to have quicker units and, you know, some of them are slower, but we can also get quicker units at a later stage. Okay, let's pause the game and quickly have a seat. There's a fire alarm. Let's send this guy. I'd rather have a technical guy go there, but we'll send that over. The question is, would this guy need a uh, police unit? We, we're ready for that. Let's see the call. Okay, what's your emergency? Quick, there was an accident. A woman was hit by a car. Okay, uh, how did it happen? How it happened? Uh, I, I think she just entered the road and, and the car hit her. She did a flip and now she's on her back. What should I do? Okay, um, what's the position? Where did that happen? At a road near Okay, we'll move that ambulance over there. Um, is she conscious? I don't think so. She was hit badly. Hello, hello, miss? I think she's unconscious. Okay, so can we say check the breath? If she's breathing. Tilt her head back, put your ear close to her mouth, and watch if her chest is moving for 10 seconds. Um, oh god, I hope I won't do her any harm. I can't hear anything. The chest is not moving either. Do you know how to perform chest compression, sir? No, not really. I'll tell you what to do. Please, follow I've my... got that uh, objective to do. Kneel down beside her upper body. Place your hands in the middle of her chest, one on top of the other. Can I do that? Should I, shouldn't I ask for consent? Trust me, you have consent. Place your hands in the middle of her chest, on a line between her nipples. Okay, what now? Now... Push as hard as you can. Use your body weight and keep your arms straight. Then release. Okay. Okay, we're giving them, them some help. Uh-oh. Um, it repeats until the ambulance arrives. Keep doing that until the ambulance arrives. Will do. Please hurry. I'm sending this guy up there first because there's an issue there. So we'll send that one up there first. Okay, the ambulance will get there. The ambulance will get there. We've already got someone in the car there, but we'll uh, we'll get that, pick them up first, and then we we'll go back to the um, to the hospital. Going there. Okay, good. Resolved over there. Going back over there. Uh, what is this? This is a fire alarm. We'll send that going over there. Oh, we actually picked someone up over here. Nice. Where are you going? Okay, going back. I'll move you back over here as soon as that's dropped off. Okay, over into this direction. Move this guy over here a little bit. Kind of shuffle things around. A loud party. We'll get the intervention unit to go over there. Just because there's more more officers in there. There's four officers in there and only two in that one. I'd rather do that. Let's do that. What's going on over here? Shoplifting. We'll send this guy up there to go and deal with that. We'll move this ambulance into this direction. Trying to get make sure that we're we're well distributed over the board. We're actually doing a pretty decent job. Case resolved over there. 
Let's bring you a little closer to the center of the board. A stabbing will get you going over there. Accept. 112, what's your emergency? I'm Michael Miller. I need firefighters to stay in the jungle seat. What happened? There's gas leaks. I was coming back home and I smelled gas. Sir, it's a huge block of glass. Hundreds of people live here. Oh my goodness. Um, are you sure? Are you sure you smell gas? Of course I am. Sir, I know what I'm doing. My dad is a firefighter. Okay. Um, where is the leak? Where the leak is? What floor are you on? On the ground floor, sir. It's, I think it's coming from upper floor. Sending firefighters now. Hey, okay. It's coming. Up. What? It's coming. My sister is still in the flash. I need to get her. And I'll try to wake as many neighbors as I can. Oh my goodness. Okay, go up. No, no, leave the building. Fire alarm. You turn the fire alarm on. I tried. I pushed the button, but nothing happened. It might be broken. Oh my goodness. Um, no, leave the building. Wait, you need to leave the building immediately. No way! My sister is inside, and plenty of other people. I need to warn them. Oh my goodness. Do not ignite a spark. Um, Do you have anything that could ignite a spark? Um, this is the lighter? I don't think so. Um, leave the building. Leave the building. Firefighters will evacuate everyone when they get there. Okay. Danger of it. It was an ignition. I know it's risky, okay? My dad. All firefighters. They risk their life every day. My guys are already there. I will do it. I need to do it. Oh my goodness. And then, is that it? Coming up! Everybody! Please the building now! Oh my goodness. No! Okay, okay, in the call. Oh no. You need to run. So oh my goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm a Actually, we'll move this guy uh, over there. Accept that. We'll move that there. Let's see what's this call. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope that doesn't. Uh, the address? Yes, ma'am. Did you maybe see how it all started? It was shocking. The explosion. Christ. It was one of the highest floors. The fire just shot out of the windows with that horrific noise. Oh my goodness. Thank you, ma'am. We already know about the fire. Okay. I hope you've already sent someone because it looks horrible. Can I help with anything else? Got it. That's all, ma'am. The firemen will be there in no time. I hope so. It's really... It looks really bad. Okay, then. I shouldn't block the line. Bye. Okay, well, that's all of these guys that are already on their way there. Um, we're out of... That, that unit is out of water, so they still continue to fight the fire. But they're obviously less, uh, less, uh, less helpful with the, with, if they don't have some, if they don't have the water. Um, once you've got there, then you can go and pick up the, um, the twisted ankle over here. We're done here. Okay. So let's move these guys, um, over a little bit. Maybe we're going to need more police over there. Oh, no, no. This is a technical job. A damaged fire hydrant. I'm kind of now wondering. These guys won't be able to leave this. Um, anytime soon. Oh my goodness. Look at all these. These, I think these guys indicate dead people actually. Oh my goodness. Yes. Look at that. Dead people, dead people. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I, geez, I don't know if I should have given other messages to the guy. My goodness. Okay. So that guy's done. Um, let's go to the damaged hydrant over here. Has that all been resolved? Okay. Good. Um, another, uh, chase over here. So let's do the chase. Oh my goodness. Is there some stuff going on there? Oh, you still have the water. Okay, fine. Let's move guys a little closer. Okay, and now we've got another technical job over here. Move into this direction over here to come and do the broken water pipe situation. Okay, now that's been done. You can go and fill up with water again. 
I'm, I'm very keen to see what's going to happen with the reputation of the other incident there. Um, acute poisoning, let's get the ambulance there as quickly as we can. Let's move this vehicle a little bit closer down here, just in case, but I think we're pretty much done with the day. We just need to resolve all of our cases before the shift ends, basically. that The, end, the shift ends once it's resolved. Acute poisoning, that should be dealt with fairly quickly, I think. Yep. And this one over here, um, also resolved, resolved. Excellent. That's the end of our day. Um, I want to quickly see what happened. Um, so one unresolved incident, we had a very high efficiency over here, but I do want to see what's going on with the reputation. The reputation is actually quite high over here. The uh, All of these doing very well. The fire in the building, we actually got a 10 out of 10 for that, um, even though I think we should have stopped that uh, guy from going up there. Oh, well, it might not have been him that actually had the issue there. And then a fire spotted ignored. What is this? Oh, the caller reported a large fire. The incident was ignored by the operator. Okay, because I think they already had this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, I think that's where we're going to call it. Um, let's continue that and see where we've got. Um, now we've got some more emails. Oh, let's quickly see what's the emails. Unknown. How's your day? I bet it's good. Uh, a lot has been going on lately. Although I doubt that you are aware of this. You sit behind the desk all day and just answer the phone. A quick conversation um, just to finish and go home. Say, uh, mm, say, do you sometimes think about what you do? Do you know what you have a living person on the other side that you that, that you have a living person on the other side? Do you realize that you are responsible for people's fates? I bet you don't. I don't understand how you can live knowing what you did. I hope something terrible happens to you. Oh my goodness! I wonder if that's got something to do with the um, with the building fire. Oh man, that's scary stuff. Over here, we got another um, another thing here. When a search incident occurs, oh yes, there's different kinds of incidents um, occurs. You can solve it in two ways. The first is to send the team directly to the search icon, where the teams will search the entire area while remaining in the center of each search area. The second way is to send teams to specific search areas. The scanners bars in the area indicates that the area is currently being searched. After successful, um, after successful search, an incident will appear that needs to be resolved. So you can basically go and search each of these blocks individually, or just go to the go to the the main incident report over there. Okay, and then life saved. Congratulations! The first eight tips you gave in your calls yesterday were really useful for the callers. Perfect. That's good. I'll leave that one there because I want to come back to that probation uh, probation period is the only thing that's left. Okay, guys, that's what that's going to do us for uh, this episode. If you've liked it, hit that like button. Um, I I kind of use that to gauge whether I should continue the series or not. So please do show your support by hitting that like button and leaving some comments if you do want to see more of this. Um, also, the game is available on Steam. So if you uh, want to grab it and play along, please do so. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.